when IPL 2021 started in April this year, who would have thought that by October end this year itself, Virat Kohli won't remain India's T20i captain, neither would he remain RCB's captain. Yes, the man who has captained RCB on a permanent basis since 2013, this will be his last year as RCB captain. He has expressed his desire to play for RCB till his last IPL day. But is there something more than what meets the eye? Is there something more in terms of India captaincy also coming back after this decision? Is there something more in terms of ODI captaincy, which remember Virat Kohli hasn't left yet. Why? Remember, everywhere there's a roadmap. Virat Kohli, when leaving India captaincy in T20Is, has said for future roadmap, this is the thing which he has decided. BCCI has also tweeted and said that keeping the future in mind, this has been done. Now, the near future is that maybe Rohit Sharma will take over the T20i captaincy and it is revolving around the T20i captaincy only. But that's only the near future. Remember, there's a T20i World Cup next year too. What if Virat Kohli doesn't win an IPL trophy before leaving captaincy or a T20i World Cup? And remember, Rohit has the power, has the backup of winning trophies in IPL. What if Rohit wins the T20i World Cup next year? He will definitely become a more established contender for grabbing the ODI captaincy too. Also, remember, it's ideal to have only one captain, even if the, there's split captaincy, for two different formats. For example, Dhoni, when he left Test Cricket, he was the T20i and ODI captain, while Kohli was the Test captain. Same is with Aaron Finch and Tim Payne. Tim Payne is Australia's Test captain. ODI and T20s, the shorter formats, are led by Aaron Finch. And it's ideal also. So now, in India's case, as of now, Virat Kohli will be ODI captain and test captain and Rohit Sharma just T20i captain. But that doesn't make too much sense, is it? Because Rohit will get only a handful of matches, T20i matches, to regroup, to do his captaincy bit in the international format. But if he has both ODIs and T20i's, under his belt, he will get a lot of matches to get his captaincy act together in international cricket. And it's ideal because in 2023, there's the ODI World Cup too. So in the run up to the ODI World Cup, which again will somewhere down the line come in BCCI's future roadmap, you need a captain and a group of people who are the same in one format. And remember, India's group of cricketers in T20Is and ODIs is almost same. So it's ideal to have one person leading the whole team in the shorter formats and another person in the longer formats. So if things go as per logic, Virat Kohli might also end up resigning from ODI captaincy. We have to wait and see whether that happens or not. But whatever happens, we'll be very excited to see the future of Indian cricket. If you like this video, do subscribe to the channel. For now, goodbye.